Hello, welcome to Anson Griffin's occasional series in MATLAB tutorials. Today we'll be looking at the effect of quantization and uh, on an image. This could be video or sound for that matter, but today we're just doing an image and we're looking at the effect of uh, you know, quantizing the image would be in eight bits and then seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And as you would expect, uh, as you drop the bits, the signal to noise ratio drops. And those of you familiar with the topic already will know that every bit is roughly t uh, equivalent to six dB. Uh, so we just now in this particular uh, example that we're about to do, we won't see this, but we'll explain why we don't get six. We think from memory we're getting around. 5.6 or something like that. Uh, just one other thing, uh, I don't have the reference to hand just at the moment but this is not my work, this came out of a book, uh, Digital and Video Compression for MATLAB, so just to say I don't want to take any credit for this at all whatsoever. Okay, so uh, I published a file and we cleared all and we closed all. So I read in the image here and I just took, uh, I just did a little check here and if the depth is zero, in other words, if it's grayscale, we just convert it to double. Why do we need to convert it to double? Because we'll be doing some uh, square roots, etc. And squaring, and if you're doing that, u and eights are no good. If you remember, u and eights are from zero to two five five, and doubles are something like minus one by ten to the power of thirty eight to plus one by ten to the power of thirty eight, or something like that. So, and if it's a color image here, we are just going to take the first plane, which is the red. Uh, we do a little size check here, uh, just if the image is very big, we just don't want to be messing around too long. So I think that's okay, so we just did an arbitrary uh, rectangular bit here. Okay. So we have our good old cameraman, uh, well known to anybody who's ever touched a bit of MATLAB in their life. And if we just go down here a little bit, I won't comment on all the code. There's the 8-bit code, and there's the histogram of that 8-bit. I'm more commenting on the graphs today rather than the actual code. You can see here that the probability density function, the PDF, of this uh, image is very non-uniform. Uh, you can see there's a massive peak here, and then we have quite a peak here. And then also, if we were doing very basic image processing, yeah, we do an eye image just to get the contrast stretched right. But it's just now this histogram here doesn't have effect on our uh, signal to noise ratio drop for every quantization uh, level we go down. We'll see this in a minute or two. So we start the quantization, and we're going to quantize from one to seven. I'm not going to go through the code line by line hope people don't check. Sometimes people give out to me that I don't explain this line by line, but I think we're you know, well advanced and if you know this uh, by area you're interested in this, you should be able to do this on your own. So I'll just go slowly here, just in case you want to look at the code. Okay, here. And you see here that there is a MATLAB function called uh, PSNR, Peak Signal to Noise Ratio, but we just uh, hand wrote the code here. Again, not my code, just in case anybody claims copyright. Now, just to start the effect, there is the three bit quantized image, and you can see because we only have three bits, so in other words, if you have three bits, you have 000, zero, zero to 111, so there's only eight levels. So you can see here that there's a lot just where the mouse is pointing hopefully on YouTube so the mouse at the moment is over the man's well left shoulder as we look his right I'm just moving around there so the areas that were quite flat there what do I mean by flat there wasn't much change so when we quantize it down to eight levels you know we just get a bad drop in quality there's the quantization error for row 150 Okay, so we have the quantization error on the y-axis, and then over here, row uh, row one fifty column one out to etc. Uh, sorry, that's row one fifty. Yes, it's slightly wrong, and then we have the quantization uh, f for each pixel here. So you can see here. Excuse me, and just the mouse is giving me a little bit of trouble. Just say if we go to something that's fairly discernible. So for 200, 
you know, we're looking at the quantization is error is between uh, minus 2 and plus 2 and then it goes up to nearly 4 for some of them there. There's the histogram of the quantization error so we we have the bin values minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 up to plus 4 and then we, we did a count of them there. Hopefully that's okay. Hopefully I've explained it. If I haven't that's okay. Now the diagrams didn't quite fall right. That's five gram, five grams. That's five bits. Uh, uh, you can see here that the image isn't too bad. And just to remind ourselves, there's the three bit. So does the three bit, you know, in the flat areas, there's a lot of uh, degradation of the signal. And here in the five bits, you know, it's quite decent. Okay, uh, flat. I think. I've made, described that already quite patchy as compared to the 5 bits per pixel. So uh, we have the signal uh, noise ratio calculated and I got a value here of 5.5625. So the theoretical mean is somewhere around 6, 6.2. But as I mentioned at the beginning, that is, assumes that the PDF is uniform. Uh, probability density function and it's ours is just not uniform it's massively non-uniform just to remind ourselves you can see here there's quite a peak around 1700 pixels are around well, something like 15 or something like that and then around 160 there's around 1200 1300 pixels so it's very non-uniform and the more non-uniform it is the more it's going to lie away from that theoretical mean Okay, so so there we are now. We're just going to get a graph popping up here. I'll explain the 5.625 and about 0201 in a second. So we have the number of bits. Oh, sorry. There's the signal to noise ratio, and you can see here it's fairly straight line. Okay, there's a bit of a, a wobble in it, and by line of sight roughly I mean if that was if the original image was perfectly distributed you know the slope of that would be 6.2 but it ain't because remember why it's it's non-uniform so the slope of that line is 5.5625 and the intercept there is just a little above 6 which is or a little above 5 I should say so next graph so we had 200 and oh, that's just another graph decision intervals and output levels and a uniform quantizer just to go back to that I skipped that comment somewhere up there so a scalar mapping can be defined as a mapping of k equals 1 to l plus 1 to reconstruction levels of k equals 1 to l so in other words you're quantizing downwards and that's a scalar mapping there's the scalar mapping Okay, and that's about it. I thought there was one more graph, but I I may have left one out, but I think that's okay. And can I just go back to this line? I got the slope of that line. There may be some way in MATLAB, like there is an Excel of plotting the line at best fit, but uh, the intercept is 0 0.0201. And the slope of the line is 5.6525. And how did I get that? I plotted x comma y, x being you know one to seven, and the signal to noise ratio values that I've calculated above. And comma one means you know polyfit means x x squared x cubed x four. When you put a comma one, you're just doing it uh, x to the power of one. So y equals mx plus c or y equals a plus bx. Okay, hope that's of some benefit to you. Thanks very much. Thanks for listening.